Nerd Soul. Late little kid, at one yo, so holding it down, bringing that streaky Nerd Soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Teaming up with Slice of Sci-Fi, and we got Stormy here. What's up? Hi, how are you? I'm not great. Bad, not bad. You got the movie 2050 coming. Yes, you I do. I'm excited. For people that don't know, what is 2050? So 2050 is this sci-fi movie that I'm a part of, and it's amazing. It's like, it's very intellectual, and it's based in the future where basically people no longer rely on each other for a relationship or love or sex. Now we rely on technology for that. So we have these e-mates, oh, or okay. the slang is sex bots. Oh. But it's different from like... Um, and uh, and you, use it, you go on a higher level. Like well, it's, being big nasty. it's not just sex, okay? It's like a whole connection, it's a whole relationship. Cool. So it's like conversation, um, hanging out, you know, it's it's like an actual relationship, it's not right, just so, sex. So a partner, someone you can ride with, yes. someone you can live your life. Exactly. Okay, so you're looking, you know, you're looking at the script or whatever, what was it was like, oh, okay, I'm doing this? Um, so the casting was actually up on backstage and what drew my eye to it was like science fiction number one, so I was like, I've always wanted to do sci-fi. But number two, it was the fact that it was a very challenging character, it was a robot, which is like the opposite of what you are taught as an actor. Because you're taught to play something that's human, you're taught to play realistic, relatable. So for me, it was like the challenge of kind of removing all emotion was like really intriguing to me. So that's really why I wanted to do it. Okay, cool. Last question then. Okay. Tagline is, customize your lover. If yes. you were to customize your lover, the first selection, what would the first selection be? Um, it's a family okay. show. It's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> If I could customize my lover, let me see. Um, it's not a family movie, but uh, <laughs> let me see. Should I give like an honest answer or like a generic? Honest. Be, be real. Be, be real, real, son. <laughs> Let's see. Lord. Hmm. Someone that can tolerate the storm. Oh, okay, okay. All right. That's really, that's actually really difficult. You think that's just like, cool. I, I, I that's a lot to deal with. All right, so. Real quick to the people at home, tell Hi. them where they can find you. Oh, you can find me at your local grocery store. No, I'm just joking. Yeah. Promotional man. Stormy Maya on Instagram, Twitter, everything. You can just search my name, Stormy Maya. I'm the only Stormy Maya that exists on this planet, and you For can now, find me. There's For gonna be a whole bunch of oh, fake, fake accounts and stuff. Yeah. It's gonna be well, I already have a bunch of fake accounts, what? so be careful. Mm. So on mm. my Instagram, the one that has like 400,000 followers, that one, not the. 2000 ones, but um, yeah, basically you can find me everywhere. You can find me iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, everywhere. Where, and why should they see 2050? Why should they watch it? Because mm -hmm. it's an amazing movie and I'm in it. There it goes. I mean, I'm, it. I'm in it. Why wouldn't you watch it? I'm it, so it. confused. See? She's in it. I'm in it, so why wouldn't you watch it? So, for my <laughs> thanks for checking this out and peace.